Okay, cool. Welcome to Nova's first fire trail review. Now, straight away, I just want to say really nice job communicating to your track layer that it's not their place to offer any type of corrections to the dog. This is uh, their opportunity to elicit drive out of the dog. Therefore, they need to be very enticing, very positive, uh, and the whole experience needs to be uh, one that's you know getting the dog to be really excited, not capping drive. Now, I couldn't see what the track layer did with the scent article uh, on that fire trail or any of the subsequent ones, but what I can tell is from the next uh, this one and the next two fire trails that whatever they did was just the right amount of stimulation for Nova to be interested in the scent article, but not too much where she wants to self satisfy with the article and run around with it like crazy. So really nice work there. Uh, now, first major teaching point of this fire trail uh, and also for the next two fire trails is where you're starting your uh, fire trails. Now, you want to start a lot closer to this long grass uh, or even better, you can start in it with the dog. Uh, this will encourage Nova to actually work through the long grass instead of trying to run around it uh, in the short stuff uh, and trying to cheat and find their way through. So just to uh, reiterate that one, start closer to the grass, much closer, uh, or start in the grass. Both uh, would be a lot better. Um, now, next point is you can tell Nova has a really wonderful relationship with you, which is great. Um, so clearly a lot of work has gone into uh, training her, which I love to see, um, you know, because she periodically comes in, sits and looks at you. Now, what I need you to do is to say nothing. Um, so no uh, encouragement, no cueing, no, you know, go find them, like absolutely, I can't be clear enough, say nothing. Um, this will help promote uh, Nova to work more independently, uh, to not come and check in with you because checking with you results in nothing. Uh, so whenever she comes in and looks at you, just stand there, um, you know, feel free to look up from the horizon, don't even look at her. Uh, just completely ignore her. And this also applies when you're starting the fire trail. So the track layer is actually the one who needs to be like, hey, come find me, come on here, pop, 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 pop. You as the handler need to just be quiet, okay? Um, so that is the next teaching point that we can draw out of this video. Uh, cool, all right, now might just fast forward a little bit to the end here. Great, so when Nova finds the track there, there she gets a little bit of a surprise, but I love the way she recovers and comes straight back in for her reward. Um, really nice job um, having a bit of a party, um, praising her up. Um, that is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want to do at the end of every fire trail. Make it a big party, make it a really reinforcing experience for the dog uh, and make it within the vicinity of the track layer at the end. Okay, so this fire trail and the next one um, call out a really significant teaching point that we need to address. When we do a fire trail series, we never want to go backwards. You just want to keep it rolling. So think of it uh, in this particular instance in a straight line, you're never going backwards. So once you finish the fire trail, move forward a couple of meters and then start the next fire trail from there. Don't go over the same old ground. As we see here, Nova, um, very smart girl, very impressive. Uh, she knows exactly where the track layer is because they're pretty much where they were last time. The other key thing here as well, and this is not a problem, is when Nova finds the track layer, she comes back to you uh, essentially looking for permission uh, or something of that like um, to get the reward from the track layer. And you did the exact right thing there. You just move up with her to the track layer to get the reward. So that's really good. All right, cool. So Nova's third fire trail. So just to uh, rehash a couple of previous teaching points. Uh, number one, make sure that we're moving forward after the last fire trail. It's a really important one uh, and it becomes very evident on this fire trail. Uh, as we're about to see with the scent article, uh, Nova, instead of moving in a straight line and running over the top of it, which is sort of how we like to cite the scent article so it happens naturally, she already knows that the track layer has gone into the deep stuff and so she immediately skirts around it where she knows that there's short grass Again, trying to find the easiest way to solve the problem. Um, 
So, you know, if we just kept moving through the grass, uh, not to harp on about it, but just to make it clear sort of what's happening here and why, um, you would have encountered less of an issue here with her running around the short grass. So again, the lesson here is just keep moving forward um, and also start all your fire trails right up against the edge of the um, long grass or just inside of it as well to encourage her to work in that long grass. Uh, the second teaching point here as well is all about your physical presence with the dog. Um, take note of where you're standing and where the dog is working. I really like to hang back uh, until I see the dog's locked onto odour, committed to it, and is actually working through the grass or the terrain that we're working in. I really try not to stay too close to the dog. Uh, so in this particular instance, if you were still standing back near the article while Nova's um, you know, running around figuring this out, that would have been fine. Um, so just be wary of following the dog too closely, um, especially when you're just starting out in these fire trails and the distances are really short. Uh, so yeah, don't follow the dog too eagerly, uh, and you know this may inadvertently uh, cause the dog to start to rely on you to show them where the track layer is, because you kind of know where they are, and you're sort of you know with your physical presence leading the dog to where the track layer is. So you're best off to encourage that independent work to hang back a little bit. The next interesting thing too, which is worth uh, talking about, is another reason why we like to push forward past where we've just done fire trails where the track layer has been laying down, is where the track layer is laid down has actually created quite a scent pool. Uh, so there's a lot of contact odor, there's a significant amount of odor that's pulled in that location, and that also makes it really hard for the dog to work through at this stage. Remember that whilst dogs are naturally capable of tracking, um, most dogs uh, don't have a deep bench of experience for solving uh, problems on the track in terms of how odor behaves and scent pools and so on and so forth, which is what we're going to teach them. But for now, those two scent pools where the track layer has been laying would actually, in this case, be causing a significant problem uh, for Nova to be working through. Uh, so that's a little bit of additional theory there as to why we keep pushing forward and don't go over the same old terrain. Uh, the dogs at this stage are typically just not advanced in skill enough um, to be able to solve those problems easily. Now, what happens here is uh, really, really interesting. So if you take note of exactly how you're moving right now while Nova's looking at you, um, you can't help but almost be pulled towards the track layer when the dog's looking to you for support. There's sometimes it's, um, you know, uh, subconscious, um, but those few paces that you just took to pull Nova along in the direction where you wanted to work, uh, what you've actually done is sent a signal to the dog that when they stop and look at you, uh, whilst several other repetitions previously you've managed to stay still, on that particular instance, you've essentially told the dog, hey, I'm going to physically tell you the direction you need to be working in. So as before, stand still and be very quiet. Uh, really lovely finish here. I love the way that Nova checks in with you uh, before she gets her reward from the track layer. Uh, you guys have a wonderful bond. Um, yeah, this is really, really lovely work overall. So what next? In summary, um, the key teaching points are watch your physical pressure um, or presence with the dog. So hang back when the dog's tracking. Uh, let Nova work out in front of you. Now, don't get me wrong. As you move along the track, she may run backwards and end up behind you, but be slower um, and let the dog be uh, working in front of you more um, before moving forward. And there's nothing wrong if Nova tracks out and finds the track layer before you even take a single step. Uh, I do many fire trails where I stand completely still while the dog's just working out in front of me whilst it's learning to work independently. Um, and this also offers the dog zero support and therefore encourages a learning process for the dog to figure out on its own that, hey, my handler isn't going to help me. I'm going to have to use my nose to figure this out. So that's number one. Number two, uh, as previously covered a couple of times over the video, um, do all your fire trails uh, in a linear fashion. Don't go backwards. 
Um, at the moment, we are just doing straight lines. That's fine. That will change really quickly with Nova because she's so smart. But for now, we just need her to use her nose a little bit more um, and overcome a couple of the issues um, that going over the same terrain created just now. So the next one, I just want three straight lines. As soon as you finish one, just push up a couple of meters to that long grass and do another straight line fire trail. Um, that'll help Nova learn really quickly uh, to use her nose because the terrain you're working in is wonderful.